Hello and welcome to CPP and Technology Part 4. We're going to talk about joining the Google Group, using the Google Group Listserv, and accessing the forum. Now as part of the CPP training, your training team will typically invite you to join two Google Groups, one for the entire training and one specifically for your consult call group. Your training team will then share resources with the Google Group. Um, and if you're in the group, so if you accept the invitation, you'll get access to all the resources. Now, if you end up changing your email or if you get added to the group later, your trainer might need to reshare the resources with the whole Google group. Otherwise, you might not have access. This is just something for you to be aware of, as this is something that we found out about the way Google works. So. Just as a little flowchart to remind you, you will join a Google group. The trainer will add you automatically to the Google group, and that will provide easy access to resources, the Google Drive folder, the forum, an optional calendar if your training team chooses to use that, and for some, a closed intranet. Now, what you need to do is just to check your email. You'll get an email from the training team, typically saying that you've been added to a consult group or to the training group, uh, Google group. And when you look at your email, you can see that you will receive some information. It will tell you that you can unsubscribe, but if you unsubscribe, then you won't get access to the resources and you won't get the group emails. And then if you just click on view this group, you can go in and view the group. Now, when you want to email your Google group, you're going to write down the name of your group and you, the email address is just groupname at googlegroups.com. And you just need to remember that you can only send email to the group from an email that is part of the group. So if I signed up using email1 at gmail.com and I also have a second email, email2 at gmail.com, I can't email the group using email2 can only email using email one. Now to send an email, I would just again type in the group name. So whatever it is at googlegroups.com, my subject line, and um, you know whatever, then send whatever I want to send. Typically what people are sending to the entire group um, is their CPP case presentation template when they're presenting on the consult calls. Now, if you'd like to find your Google group, you can go to groups.google.com and click on My Groups, and it'll show you a listing of all the different Google groups you're part of. You would find your consult group, and you could go ahead and click on that. And the thing that it'll take you to is the forum. And you can see that the forum is just simply kind of an archive of all the emails sent to the group. You can add topics, and then you can organize your postings by topic. Now, not all groups are going to use the form option. That's something you can talk about, um, but it does have some nice features in terms of archiving conversations and organizing discussions. Now, if you want to see your group settings, once you're in your group, you can go ahead and click on this little wheel and you can then click down on group settings and that'll enable you to see the group name and also the group email address in case you forget it. Now, if you'd like to see your membership and email settings and maybe make some changes, when you're in the group, you just go ahead and click on this little icon of a person right there. Um, if you ever want to leave the group, you know, knowing again that you won't have access to the resources or the emails, you would just click on leave the group. And if you want to, you can change your membership and email settings. Now, two things you might want to change is your email delivery preferences, how often you get your emails. And it's possible that you might want to change the email used for your membership. Okay, and if you would like to change the email used for your membership and you have associated a second email address with your Google account, there would be a little arrow there and you could just switch it to the other email address if you want. Um, if you'd like to add an email address to your Google account, you would just go to accounts.google.com, click on this personal information and privacy section, and then here typically where it says email address, um, you would have a little button that says edit if you don't have you know, two email addresses like I do. And then you could go in and add an email account. And then once you did that, when you came back here, you'd be able to go ahead and click and select the email account that you wanted to use for your membership. So that's one way that you can control which email address your information is going to. All right, so that concludes part four of CPP and technology. And if you're ready, you can click on part five.
Thanks so much.